Hi guys, this is Dr. Tom. Hey, and I just want to highlight a few things from our awesome Arches STEM challenge. All right, and in this STEM challenge, we start out by actually talking about bridges, right? And how bridges are kind of architectural wonders in terms of their ability to hold and support different weights. And we know that the bridge has to actually be able to support the weight of the bridge itself but in addition, it has to support the weight of the objects going across the bridge. All right, so that's a, quite an engineering task and challenge overall. And sometimes it doesn't work very well. Uh, just recently, we had a major bridge collapse over a river in Minnesota, and that caused a lot of damage and killed 14 people just back in 2007, all right? And so when we're thinking about bridges, we have to take into account both the compression forces that act on a bridge and the forces of tension that act on a bridge, all right? And, and bridges are designed to be able to disperse those forces, and in particular, arch bridges are designed to disperse forces so that no one area actually has to bear the brunt of the forces on that bridge, all right? And so in this STEM challenge, what we ask kids to do is first of all, in part one, they have to build a simple, um, beam bridge in part one and then secondly they have to build a simple arch bridge and then they actually compare the strength of the simple beam bridge versus the strength of the arch bridge and so it's a pretty neat and pretty interesting stem challenge all right and so a couple things that you need so first of all when you start out this challenge you need some plaster of paris ice cubes so you get some ice cube trays and a couple gallons of plaster of paris mix it up according to directions and the pour the plaster of Paris into the ice cube containers. All right, and then voila, you'll have your ice cubes and two gallons should give you enough for about nine or 10 student groups. And then what you can have is have students build the arch. They can either do it on the ground and then tip it or they can build it in the air together. But you want them to build the arch and then actually try to tip the arch and get it so that it balances and this is a little bit tricky but there you go it's actually balancing and then they can tweak it a little bit and they can actually find out that this arch supports quite a bit of weight and quite a bit of push quite a bit of forces on it and kids get a kind of an initial understanding of how an arch can actually disperse forces overall so that's part one and then part two you're going to actually compare the simple beam bridge versus an arch bridge and and kind of quantitatively look at some differences between them and so for the second part of this stem challenge you want the students to actually build the two different types of bridges all right and in each case we give them a couple strips of poster board that are 12 by 14 inches long a ruler to help measure things with a couple cans of pop and then all of the plaster of Paris cubes that they need. All right, and so for the simple beam bridge, we just have them take the, both of the, uh, the, the poster board pieces and lay them across as simple beams, and then they can start adding masses to the bridge and see how well the bridge can support the weight. And usually, uh, the bridge can't even support one ice cube of mass. Sometimes kids might get it where it supports one or two ice cubes of mass, but that's about it overall. All right, and so the, for the second one then, what they do is actually take one of the poster board pieces and uh, bend it into an arch and then take the second one as the beam support across the bridge. All right, and then they start adding masses and see if there's any difference between the two designs. And when they do this, they actually find out that the arch provides a lot more support overall. And oftentimes they might be able to get five or six or seven uh, cubes of mass before the bridge actually collapses. And so it's a really good kind of simple model of two different types of bridges and why we use arches to actually be able to disperse forces uh, and so it's also a, a good way for people to see why there are arches all over the place because they do actually do a great job in functioning how they're supposed to so i hope you like this stem challenge uh, good luck with your kids